Okay, now uh, the first storm we have for the night is Sunny V2 versus Skeppy. Now, if you didn't know, Skeppy's a he's a big YouTuber. Right? He has six million subs, and uh, Sunny V2 is also a big YouTuber, right? And uh, basically, Sunny V2 made a video about like Skeppy, and uh, basically all about how his career rose and dipped, right? Now, uh, obviously, Skeppy didn't like that very much, and he made a he made a response video. So you know. We're gonna turn this on two times and give it a look see. Uh I'm sorry for putting you through this. I know Skeppy is just fucking terrible to watch. So yeah, let's get into it. Congratulations, big man. You just have been Skeppy. Here, wait, let's go on an adventure together. Just you and me. No, no, I just mean an analysis adventure. Yeah, the cringe already. Very high. I'm gonna <laughs> Ooh. Fight it! So true. <laughs> Look at this! Look at all of them! It's amazing! The potential here is unlimited! The things I could do! Like Let's put together about five minutes of research creating a series of what's called them events. Of course, not having any real involvement, understanding, or real context about these situations, but they can address. Who gives a See, he's wrong, though, already, because he's, you know, he's basically claiming that this person, that Sunny V2, looked up every single mistake Skippy has ever made, and uh, very misinformed and without context presented it, which is not what Skeppy did, or which is not what Sonny did, right? What Sonny did was he he collected all the information from your past controversies, and uh, basically put it all into one video uh, to explain possibly why you're not gaining as much views as you used to. You know, it's a pretty standard video for these rise and fall channels such as Internet of J and Sonny V2, right? It's not anything out of the ordinary. I don't know. He, you're just ass mad, I guess, because it didn't paint you in a good light. The shit about that. See, I'm super clever, and I'm not actually gonna personally attack Skeppy on anything. Just simply put together the darkest Skeppy events where he messed up and portrayed it exactly how I want. So true. <laughs> oh my god. This villain appearing in my story. Don't let them in. Nothing malicious, I swear. Here, here, let me try. Step one, pick a random creator that's been on the platform long enough. Okay. Step two. Dig. See, what's, what's wrong about this, though? It's entertaining and people like it. I mean, that's pretty apparent from uh, Sunny V2's channel, right? He's been growing like fucking crazy. So why wouldn't he do this, right? These are your actions, and you're just mad that people are talking about them because you don't like the things that you did. And you don't like the fact that you're not doing as well as you used to. And you're very cringe. <laughs> So was it bucket or fuck it? Oh wait, no, I've got a better one. From potato to po I promise I'm done swearing after this. Old family friendly Skeppy will be back one day. Just not today. Because these fuck I feel a little bad though. I never really swear much in my videos. And I'm sure some people don't appreciate my naughty words. Or you know what? Even better than swearing. Sometimes I might do silly Skeppy things. I might yell or I just straight up be an idiot. But swearing! I made like a thousand videos and sworn God, it's actually insufferable. Why are we talking about swearing right now? Why? <laughs> Go back to Sunny. I don't care about this fucking Cringe ass side side tangent. Probably like one percent of them. I mean, not like I have any motivation around me not to swear. Language. But I'm sorry. Today I just can't help myself. Now I'm left forced to respond to this. Hey, you're not being forced to do anything. But if I There's no dude. This man has to be ner. Okay, he's not retarded, but he's neurodivergent. Okay, see, I'm I'm using the correct terminology. All right, this man has to be. Neurodivergent, okay? <laughs> so people might think it's presented with accurate information! Now I watched the video, and everything was exactly as I expected, you know? Like the specific video clips chosen where I talk about certain topics, it really just tickled me the wrong way a little bit. It just sucks, because vital parts I would have wanted to have kept in just didn't make the cut and wasn't used. And it's just my stupid, dumb opinion that this video is straight up garbage. You can clearly tell I'm just a little bit aggravated, okay? Because there was just one, one thing which hit me over the edge and made me feel so mad more than anything else. Just because I can handle it all, but this, this one thing. Listen, all I'm saying is if anyone's gonna be talking about significant events and the history of me, it's gonna be me, mother- No. Cause you're a bi you're biased, right? Like obviously, Sunny V. I okay. I highly doubt Sunny V two has some sort of vendetta against you, Skeppy, unless you like fuck them over somehow, right? So why would he just go in this video and lie about you? And if if he is lying, you should be able to prove it pretty easily, right? Why would you make a video about yourself, right? Because then you're obviously a biased party, you dumb fuck. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> You just had to bring this up, didn't you, Sonny Mix Sun Sun? This one actually hurt. It's like a dagger right to the heart. But what do you care? I bet you think you're pretty clever now, don't you? Now I know you have a passion to research and document my dumb dying career. So congratulations, man. You really motivated me to make this response video because I guess I got nothing left. You see, the problem I have with this video it isn't just because it's misleading. Why are you bullying me? It isn't Show me that it's misleading. Show me where it's misleading, and then I will listen. I don't care about all this cringe edits you're doing. Oh, fancy editing. That way. <laughs> 
he has to be right because of how good his editing is, guys. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Brango Burr. <laughs> is it just because the way it betrays me? Is it just because it's negative? And is it just because I get hate from it? But the problem I have is with Sunny. Not just because I think he's a big fat stupid dumb meanie head. He just took whatever was convenient to you, mashed it up, highlighted a few tweets, and then the next day is done. But I got curious. I wanted to look at my competition, so I did. And I'm not gonna lie. Sh show me, show me, show me. There's some bad people out there. But the more I looked, the more I started to ask the question, why does Sunny make these videos in the first place? And that's a good question. And I'm hungry for some answers. So I started going through Sunny's channel, and even though it was hard for me to be a fan of him, because this stupid. I still remember filming this video in the first half of film with my microphone on my headset. But then the videos really didn't get any views, so it was pretty hard to stay motivated to continue making them. I failed once again, and I was feeling a little defeated by YouTube at this point. I watched a few of these videos, and they all felt the same, real and genuine. He made a video talking about how he got to 100,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Wow. This is very cringe. <laughs> Who cares? You just looked at his old videos. See, the thing with Sonny is that he's never, he's never really done anything that's controversy worthy, right? He's never, he hasn't had like a long YouTube career where, you know, he's done a whole bunch of things that may be evidence to why he's on a downward spiral, right? He's still an up and coming creator. Skeppy, on the other hand, is a creator who's been on the platform for a while and his career is on the decline right now, which is why he made a documentary about you, you dumb fuck. Like, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Awesome. And the story on how he got there. It's really inspiring, and it looks like we might even have a little bit in common. I was going to figure out what got views, how the algorithm worked, and constantly push myself to my limits with editing and effort in my video. I'm really starting to like this guy, I can't lie. I created the video The Rise of Friendly Joys, which performed really well, getting 45,000 views in the first two weeks. So it seems like Sonny's first big video was a video documenting someone's success. That seems pretty awesome, so he did it again, but then it looked like there was a twist somewhere. Rather than documenting his upwise, I wanted to document his downfall. Ever since I've just been posting similar videos to these ones. Sonny decided not only to document the successes, but the downfall. And like I said, there were a few really bad apples doing some really gross stuff. But as time went by, I guess we wouldn't see too much more of the positive. It's almost like the downfall should have a better narrative to them. But there's nothing wrong with that for the people who've done those few things, but it all still didn't make any sense to me. Why didn't Sunny make the 1 million subscriber special? He did for the 1k and 100k? No, no, it just wouldn't have fit into his style of content. Wait a minute, Sunny's style of content? That is just peculiar. Sunny made a video telling people to stop cancel culture. <laughs> All I see is, wait, what? Most of the time, the people doing the canceling are very insignificant people who, to be quite frank, haven't achieved much of significance in their own lives. Okay, so basically, Sunny's point here is that Sunny V2 claims to be against cancel culture and he participates it in it by, uh, you know, essentially documenting terrible things other people have done, right? Now, uh, there's a difference between cancel culture and somebody who has done something that is cancel worthy, right? Uh, you know, I don't think a lot of people should be banned off the internet, right? I think if you committed an actual, like, felony crime, like, you know, pedophilia or rape, you should obviously banned, uh, be banned. And, and I think if you're trying to actually get other people deplatformed, you should also be banned, right? Uh, and uh, I don't think Sunny V Sunny V Two doesn't even like campaign for deplatforming in these videos. He just highlights mistakes people have made in their career, right? So you can't, and those are those own people's actions, right? So it'd be one thing if he was calling for the deplatforming of these people, but he's just reporting on factual information. If you don't like it, then you shouldn't have done that action. <laughs> it's a very simple concept, right? Like. Oh? We have to look at context, relevancy, and intentionality. And that is one of the big issues that's going out the window in current PC culture climate. I completely agree, man. Let's look at the intentionality. What was your intention here? Well, let's see. All the points you discussed, if you really wanted to know the answers to these things, you could have messaged me, you know? The intention about making a video on why my career is dying, which had false representations and unanswered questions, could have been- Yeah, but also... <laughs> he doesn't have to do that, right? He just takes what's publicly available and, you know, gathers it and does research and puts out a shorter video, right? Like... <laughs> And show me that, that he's misleading. Show me it. Show me, show me, show me. Like, I know that's kind of a, an annoying thing to say, but, like, I'm not going to believe you, right? I'm not going to believe that he's misrepresenting you because I've seen no evidence of that thing. Answered, you know? There were no ulterior motives here, right? And that's what I hate most. I really recommend checking this video out. Got you massive attention seeking. What were, what were his in, in, in motives? What? I, mean, I guess attention, maybe? Why, why would he need to lie about you to get attention? Like, you've already... <laughs> I mean, you've done more than enough, like, I don't know, not really fucked up things, but, like, just stupid-ass shit. You've done more than enough stupid-ass shit in your time on the platform to, for him to just, like, talk about it, right? Like... Is it just me, or is the bar getting lower and lower for getting cancelled? I, I don't know, man. Then when the pizza showed up to Bad Boy Halo's house, it only showed three pizzas being opened. How do we know that he didn't only order three pizzas and sit them on top of a stack of empty boxes? Is it just me, or is the bar getting lower- Where did the missing pizzas go? Okay, yeah, but... <laughs> I remember that video, actually. That video about is about essentially why people don't like his content anymore and why they don't trust him as much, right? That's not... He's not calling him out for... <laughs> he's not calling him out for, uh... For, you know, faking a pizza prank or whatever the fuck, right? He's call He's just reporting on why people don't like him as much anymore because he faked this prank, right? He's not actively trying to get this person cancelled. He's just reporting on relevant information as to why something happens, right? Like... <laughs> I don't know, man. 
10 grams written on my whiteboard, so it's more just a matter of who do I start with. I'm sure the way I'm portraying the story is totally accurate, and if Sonny's watching this, he might have a different say? Well, who gives a fuck about that? Sonny, why are you doing this to yourself? None of the content that you seem like you actually wanted to make had anything to do with what you do now. It seems like your genuine opinion doesn't really line up. It's confusing. I guess you he does Sunny V2 isn't very opinionated opinion, uh, sorry, opinionated in his videos, right? Most of the time, if he has an opinion, he'll include it at the end and be like, well, this is what I think, right? But Sunny V2's uh, videos are mostly documentaries. And I I realize there could be, you know, an ulterior motive to making a video, right? Like, you know, you pointing out all these terrible like Keemstar, for example. I can make an hour-long video pointing out every single bad thing Keemstar has ever done and leave out every apology Keemstar has ever made and every single, like, every single, uh, like, relevant information that would, you know, not really exonerate Keemstar, but make him look a little better, right? And that would be me painting a narrative that is intentionally trying to get him cancelled, right? But you need to show me that Sonny left out in information in this video that made you look worse, right? Objectively, right? But you haven't shown me that. You've just been screaming. Wah, 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 wah. You've just been talking like a baby and putting in a thousand edits. That gives me a headache to watch, right? <laughs> You're just talking about how people kill their own careers. That's what it is. Taking whatever information and bits and pieces that you find, aligning it, portraying it, showing it off however you choose for your fans to watch. Well, actually, you can't really grow a fan base talking about other people all the time. But I do wonder why you left these videos up and privated the rest of them. I guess you must have been genuinely proud of them. You Evidence? I Dude, it's, it sounds so gay for me to say it over and over again, but like, I need to see it, bro. I don't believe you. You sure are good at this, honey. You are just so talented, so gifted, at painting out a solid, accurate picture of the past. I just hope I can do as good a job as you, dude. You can frame whatever you want, however you want, if you know how to do it. Cancellations in some circumstances are appropriate, and maybe you deserve to have your career ruined. Most of the time, the people doing the canceling are very insignificant people who take life by having to change much of the things in their life. Listen, they take this number of stuff to you. I bring some gas and I'm like, let's just go. I'm coming back. Give Okay, yeah, before he sped it up like 50 million miles a minute, he was completely right. Some people do deserve to be cancelled who are fucking just terrible people. I don't- I doubt his opinion on you was that you needed to be cancelled because you were a terrible person, right? He was just pointing out why people don't like you as much as they used to. It's not that- yeah. <laughs> Things that are being taken out of context. What are the dog doing? Ah, uh, Sonny, it just looks like you've become what you despise the most. No, it looks like you're fucking stiff, fed. Well, that's great and all, but what about all the shit he said about you? Your events are a total copy of Mr. Beast. I have made micro child videos before Mr. Beast Gaming was a channel. Mr. Beast Gaming. That's not what he said. He said that people perceive you as a copy of Mr. Beast because of your new editing style and uh, your new video format. That's he. He didn't say that. You are a copy of Mr. Beast. He said that people perceive you as a copy of Mr. Beast, thus they don't like you as much anymore. You've... People before me have made Minecraft Child videos. People after me will make Minecraft Child videos. It's really not that deep, but just for Sonny, in case he's dying to know, before me. Yeah. Except for... If that's not Sonny's opinion, that's your fans' opinion who don't like you as much anymore. Mr. Beast actually started doing events. He called me and he said, hey, I'm making Minecraft events. Wanna make a video together? Because I don't want people thinking I ripped you off. Those were his exact words. And you know, I was shocked. I literally took it from him. I just did what he was doing in Minecraft and it worked. But he was saying that to me. I mean, he's just a legend. But quite clearly the opposite happened here. And that's just what happens on YouTube sometimes. You have no idea how many times I have seen content creator A creates a video and then content creator B creates a similar video. And what do you think happens? The video with more views is always assumed to be created first. Which huh? makes no sense, but that's just how it is. Yeah, okay, whatever. But how could you scam your own fans? What? This thread would surface on the Invited Lands forum titled I got scammed on a event, which stated, I want to pay the Lens event a few weeks ago yet didn't get my prize. I've been checking my PayPal daily, but I definitely haven't gotten anything. I'm really worried about this and desperately have been trying to get in contact, so I have nothing. I have proof I won the event and gave the right information. Did I get scammed? Proof literally just watch his building competition video. I won for the watermelon bill. That's just so interesting. I mean, how could someone be dumb enough to upload a video advertising someone winning and then not pay them? I mean, maybe if they were an idiot like me. All right, all right, let me just take a look, okay? This post right here, where Sunny openly claims that I'm a Scam. scammer. Creator uh, no. <laughs> Sunny doesn't claim that. He's just reporting on this post, right? Sonny, Sonny didn't make the claim. I, I will admit he's probably co-signing the claim by putting it, not even really co-signing it, he's sort of boosting the claim by putting it in this video, but he's he's most definitely not alleging this. <laughs> of the post name is Zach's Alt, so I decided to look into it. You have no idea the amount of digging I had to do to get this screenshot, which was a list of all the winners in the event. Now, Zach's Alt was one of the winners, and as you can see right here, they gave me their PayPal email. And funny enough, I searched through my transactions, there it was, surprise money of $100 for what was owed. Okay, is there anything else I have to say? I mean, yeah, that's fair. But uh, that still doesn't change that, you know, most people thought that you were a scammer because of the situation, right? <laughs> it's not like Sonny came out of nowhere with these allegations that you were a scammer and completely blindsided you and fucked you over. No, this was a pre-existing allegation that, that Sonny reported on because you had re 
provided no rebuttal up until this point, right? And it's possible he didn't know about it, but, you know, yeah, I guess it's better that he brought it to your attention, right? Because now you can debunk it, and now maybe some of your fans won't think you're a scammer. Wow. This is by the name of Chubby Dog with an adjective by stating, Because Gameplay 72, he was doing his first to find and kill him event and invaded, and the wind got overlord, and so he started to make down him and killed him, but he said, I forgot to start recording, and so he didn't do it. Yeah, it's getting a big scammer. Okay, let's see. Shit! Stephanie did an event, he forgot to start, start recording, recording, and he didn't give me the prize he gave me. I don't host events for rank, but even so, the claim here, Sunny, I own Invaded. Overlord is a rank on Invaded. You do realize I can grant people rank for free, right? It doesn't cost me anything. So the claim here is that I recorded right. a video and hosted a prize for Overlord, which I don't even host events for rank prizes, by the way. And this guy won the event, and then I was like, bitch, fuck off, I didn't record. Even though I could just type a command and give you a rank for free, you can just piss right off. Sunny, I'm. Yeah, I mean. Sure. <laughs> Not a dick, but I must say you are just a master manipulator. You've really got a lot of my own faces trying to get to me here. I mean, ask around. I How did he? He hasn't manipulated anything. Show me. Show me something. This video is just sh shitty ass. <laughs> this video is just shitty ass memes and fucking over editing cancer that is making me, making me want to blow my brains out. Right? It has no substance. No evidence, no receipts. Besides that, besides that one, uh, he debunked that he didn't scam someone. Good job, yay! Every single event winner. Oh wait, Sonny, you're a real jerk. This is just bullshit. Oh, it wasn't uncompetition winners that had to take by scamming. Wow, you are so good at this. The practice does make perfect. Here, could we maybe watch another video? One where the content's actually reliable? Of course! Oh no, I'm kidding! Wow, these titles are getting really creative, but mine's still better. Okay, okay, I'm sure there are a lot of great points in here, and I Okay, so, if there's a bunch of videos about you, and why... and why you're possibly a bad guy, why don't... Why don't you make a video addressing some of your controversy? I guess that's what you're doing right now, except for you're singling out Sunny V2, which is probably the worst person who you could have singled out, right? Because Sunny V2 only is is a documentary channel. He doesn't give his opinion, right? You should have singled out one of those other channels that were directly alleging that you did these things, right? They were, like, <laughs> you picked the worst possible target, you, you dumb motherfucker. I would be more than happy to sit down, go through them all, as I'm sure there are valid explanations. Hold on a second here. Why is he making the same exact style of video on Dream? Does he just hate Steppy and Dream? Or Steppy? No, but there's reasons why some of your older fans don't like both of these creators anymore. It's... <laughs> and Dream just both bad people, or are they two convenient videos appealing to a generally white audience? Or, or maybe it was just a coincidence. Now we need to go back and think. What he does it for views. Yeah, you know, he probably did make those videos for views because you guys are both really big creators and they pull in more... They pull in more uh, views, right? Uh, like, obviously, Sunny V2's video on, like, fucking SketchEck isn't gonna do as well as his video on Dream, right? Because Dream is a fucking huge-ass name, and SketchEck only has, like, 50k subscribers, right? But it's not that... It's very simple. Like, why wouldn't you do it for views? Are you not doing this for views, Skeppy? I highly doubt that you just... You just have this burning passion for content creation after all these years, and you just keep going because of how much you love making videos, right? Like... What did Sunny tell us? What is the intent here? You've got to take me just a little bit. I mean, who would have thought a liar could generate that juicy momentum on a channel? This almost seems too familiar. It's reminding me just a little bit too much of the start and rise of, of Sunny. Didn't he start the same way? Now listen, I'm not gonna lie. I think this guy's content is actually really good. Even though he has points that I disagree with, you don't have to become Sunny's little brother if you don't want to. I even want to try and give you some more momentum if I can. Everyone, please, if you don't mind, go check out this channel and subscribe. The content is good. I'm taking a chance here, but that's what my gut is telling me to do, and I really just pray that the content evolves in a good way. Wow, I don't really know if it's good enough for you guys, but I don't really see the need to talk and go over this again. Are you messing with me? I okay. <laughs> again, Skeppy's video is a documentary. He does not. I, I, I doubt Skeppy cares you said the F slur, right? But Skeppy's do this video is a documentary of why people don't like you anymore. And considering your your Wawa baby ass audience that cries every time somebody says retard. It, it makes sense why p people wouldn't like you as much if you said the F slur, right? <laughs> addressed it. I'm sorry. And if my apology wasn't good enough for you, well then I'm double sorry. I apologized in the past. I took down videos. Everyone can beat me down for all my horrific mistakes. But you, Sonny, what's your excuse? Shut the fuck up. Why did you say that word? But you're criticizing me for it? That's not fair. Yo, Sonny based? But no, he's not... He's not criticizing you, you dumb motherfucker. He is not criticizing you. This video was not a criticism of Skeppy. It was a documentary explanation of why people don't like you anymore. The internet was a totally different place back then. You can't pin someone for something that they said years ago. It's a totally different YouTube landscape, political landscape, comedy landscape. It's a totally different level of I don't see why I need to go over topics I've addressed, so I'm not going to do that. I've apologized for my mistakes. Have you, Sonny? Can we please just take a little break now? And we'll return after these messages. I'm just the old Skeppy. The always troll Skeppy. I'm the eggshell Skeppy. The always L Skeppy. I hit the new Skeppy. The always streaming Skeppy. I'm not the old Skeppy. The 7-Eleven Skeppy. Uh. I'm just 
gonna be so amazing. Okay. This is fucking it. terrible. Now I'm not gonna lie, I used to I used to watch all of Scabby's videos. And he'll learn it twice a day. It's very intense. It's just, I, I have to say I miss the old Scabby. No, no, he's right. It makes sense. I just don't upload as much as I used to. I used to not single or double, but triple upload. Oh, consistently. Wake up, record, sleep, repeat. That was my life. Yeah, okay. Again, he's not criticizing you for changing your video style. He's citing it as an explanation to why people don't like you as much anymore and why your views are dropping off a little bit. Oh. Life. And I understand the feeling. I used to watch all your Dream SMP videos, and this video was a new editor. Completely different style. So I can't even lie. He's right. Maybe I have changed. Or maybe it was just you. We can grow out of things. I have. It's normal. But I worked on this video all by myself. So hopefully it feels more like the old me. Yes, I could have possibly uploaded more, but I always felt like I was doing stuff. Even, you know. Please stop working on- stop working on videos altogether, okay? They're- they're a fucking cancer to this website. I'm sorry, but they're- it, they're fucking terrible. Oh, going outside sometimes? But if you guys want, I'll even go back to only- Ooh. He goes outside, guys. <laughs> he to he totally epically owned us because he goes outside. Look, he has like all these pictures of him outside, guys. <laughs> wow, he's so cool because he. <laughs> wow. Me editing the video. I made a poll to see if that has anything to do with it. But Sonny, I'm really mad at you. And not to mention, half of your video's content is about. <laughs> Sonny decided he would attempt to have a blast to the past. Now, even though we already know Sonny is a great guy where you can get reliable content, there happened to be a few mistakes. Sonny was telling us a story that we all seem to know a bit too well. Skeppy and A6D are no longer friends. Sonny, I know you want to act like you know what happened. I get it. A few tweets and clips exist, so you can just create a narrative. But if I can, hopefully, I'd like to talk about. Okay, then. That's what. That's the information we have available publicly, right? So obviously, that's what he's gonna. That's what he's gonna roll with, because that's all we have. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Let's see your epic rebuttal to this. <laughs> If you're gonna give one. About a few things. I mean, I kind of lived it. And even though it isn't exactly fun for me to do this, I have a few things to say. There's a lot. I don't really know where to start. Maybe you know what it's like to lose a friend or a best friend. What about when it's in front of what feels like the whole world? Yes, it's exhausting. And eventually gets to the point where this guy makes a video about it. I reach my tipping point. Nothing about this is fun. And yes, I know. We choose to do the things we do, the things we say in front of everyone. And that's all. He's just word vomiting. He's not saying anything. Explain to me what. Ex explain to me what exactly in Sunny V2's video is wrong. Explain, please. Us, but friends fight sometimes. It's normal. But this one just felt different. It felt like there's just no hope at times. And believe me, the internet amplified this by a million. At the time, I had a lot of built-up anger towards A6D. We fought, argued. I was upset at him for things he would do. And I know he was upset at me for things that I would do or say. It wasn't sunshine and rainbows. There was nothing pretty about it. And it just kept getting worse. Until it eventually got to a point of just regrets. I felt so hurt and upset. At the time, I sat around and I thought, wow, look how much I tried to do for A6D. And he doesn't even appreciate me. That's obviously not true. I regret anything I put online about that matter. It was stupid. I wish I didn't make any tweets or stream, but connecting the dots now is easy. I know A6D. Oh, so you meant it stupid? Okay. So even if this was a criticism of you, you literally just said it's it was stupid of me. So why 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 wouldn't Sunny V two be able to criticize you for those actions even if by your own admission they're fucking stupid? And the worst part is Sunny V two isn't even criticizing you for those actions. He is literally saying that like you're he's he's literally documenting why people don't like you anymore. You dumb motherfucker. This is. Ugh. He has said or done things that he regrets too, but I won't speak for him. I just want to say that A60 is a great friend. He is extremely, extremely smart, but most of all, he's a good person. Bad is really sweet, and he would convince me that us three should hang out and just move on. But I have a really hard time getting over things sometimes. And that's my fault, I know, and I didn't want to do that, but I still did. And I just want to say I'm sorry to bad to A60 if I was awkward or hard to be around. But what really came out of all of this was was nothing. It was a losing battle, and it was always a losing battle. I'm sorry to A60 and Bad Boy Halo for anything that they might still be mad at me for, or anything stupid I did. I was just so, so hurt. But, I'm lucky. I get to live a happy ending. I talk to A60 quite often today. We even make some videos together. Now, this was all pretty recently, but I know things are only positive and upward from here. What were we talking about again? Oh, right. I mean, come on. Sonny, if you really wanted to get down to it, all the facts, I would have been more than happy to answer any questions. But I see perfectly now why you wouldn't do that to make this misleading masterpiece. Good job. Okay, then, why didn't you provide any of the facts in this video, you dumb motherfucker? Yeah, I'm done with this shit, man. This- Okay, the final thoughts. If he would have actually shown up with some proof, like he did with the uh, cheating scan, with like the cheating stuff, that would have been fair. If he would have shown that his, Sunny V2's video was like complete bullshit, that would have been fair. But he didn't, right? He took everything in Sunny V2's video personally, and uh, assumed he was criticizing him, and then tried to point out hypocrisy. But he wasn't even criticizing him, so it didn't fucking work, right? So this guy, this guy's just fucking retarded. So yeah.